The US dollar is taking the back seat. Market participants are pricing in the recession threat to the US economy and the scenario of the US central bank's softer rhetoric on the back of easing inflation. Recent macroeconomic data confirms that the US economy has been losing momentum. Now, investors are betting on a rate hike by 25 basis points at the Fed's nearest policy meeting. That will take place exactly in a week. Such prospects are bearish for the US dollar. Will the events of the last two days of this week change market sentiment? Let's discuss it right now. On Thursday, January 26, the economic calendar is loaded with the data from the United States. One of the crucial metrics will be the first estimate of the use of GDP for the first quarter of 2022. This report will dispel recession fears for a while. According to flash estimates, the US economy expanded by 2.6% secondly in the final quarter last year. Indeed, the quarterly growth is expected to slow down, but expansion is still recorded. Previously, the US economy looked a positive change and rebounded by 3.2% in the third quarter following the two quarters of contraction. Nevertheless, investors will give priority to signal to define the current economic conditions. The market will be able to evaluate plenty of such data on Thursday and Friday. For example, investors will get to know a report on durable goods that are consumer goods whose lifespan exceeds three years. Analysts foresee a 2.4% increase in durable goods orders after this small reading last month when a slump was recorded in all uh, merchandise categories except the defense items. The orders for vehicles and consumer goods are expected to grow in December. Such news is likely to inspire investors and encourage growth both in the currency and stock markets. With the signs of a steady economy, the Federal Reserve could go ahead with its aggressive monetary tightening to curb soaring inflation. On the other hand, high interest rates derail the normal developments of such sectors as a construction and dampen consumer sentiment. Investors will be able to judge on this from the report on new home sales. Obviously, consumers are reluctant to spend money on pricey purchases, for example, new homes under the conditions of a high borrowing costs, inflated consumer prices and the prospects of a recession. According to the consensus, new home sales could have dropped by 2% in December. On a Friday, market participants will find out the information on the consumption in the United States. Importantly, the US economy largely depends on consumer activity. Indeed, consumer spending accounts for more than two-thirds of the US GDP. On a January 27, investors are looking forward to a consumer spending report. The forecast is a negative, even though December has always been the peak of a shopping spree. Uh, when consumers um, buy Christmas gifts. If the forecast comes true, the trading week will close in the red for the dollar-denominated assets. Follow developments in financial markets in our daily videos on the InstaForex TV channel. Subscribe to our channel and see you soon!